So the first thing we need to do is to install the extension from the Chrome Web Store. A Google Chrome browser is required to do this. And because there are similar extensions like this one on the Chrome Web Store, I'm going to leave it directly to download the extension in the description of the video below. And I'm going to click on Add to Chrome to install the extension. And when the extension is done installing, we are going to be taken to the extensions options page where we can configure the behavior of the extension. The first option we have here is this box that allows us to keep a white list of users that we don't want to unfollow. Say for example, I enjoy Elon Musk tweet and I also enjoy Jack's tweet. I can put their Twitter handles here and click on save. And if I refresh the page, we can see that the content of the box is persisted. So whenever the extension run is going to check the content of this box and make sure not to unfollow the usernames we have specified here. So if you care about not mass unfollowing everyone, then I strongly suggest that you take advantage of this option. The next option is a safety measure to make sure the extension doesn't run forever, which is going to cause your account to be suspended by Twitter. So after one minute, the extension is going to stop unfollowing people and you're going to have to restart the process. One minute is enough time to unfollow hundreds of accounts already. And if you're going to uncheck this option, you would have to manually stop the unfollow process by yourself. And the last option is to automatically reload the page when the extension is done unfollowing people. So now that we understand how to customize the extension, we are going to pin the extension at the top here for easy access. So if I click on this extension icon, I can see the extension we installed and I can click on this pin button to pin it to the top of the page right here. At the moment, we can see the extension is disabled and this is because the extension only runs on Twitter following page. So let's open a new tab and visit twitter.com and I'm going to go to my profile and click on the following link right here. So on this page, we can see that the extension has been activated. If I click on the extension icon, we'll see that we have a couple of action buttons and a very neat feature I added is to allow the user to see what the extension is going to do without unfollowing any of their following. So let's click on the demo button to get an idea of what the extension is going to do. As you can see, the following buttons on this page are changing from following to follow, simulating that we are unfollowing users on this page. Also, we can see the number of users that have been unfollowed in real time. Once the extension is done following all the users on the page, it's going to automatically scroll to the next page to unfollow more users. And if you still have the option to stop after one minute checked, you are going to see this goodbye GIF and the page is going to be reloaded if you also have that option checked as well. We can also see after the reload, the extension didn't unfollow anyone. Now that you have an understanding how the extension run, you can decide to click the all button to unfollow everyone on this page. You can also click not following you to only unfollow people that are not following you back. Keeping in mind that the extension is going to give priority to the users that we have whitelisted. 